Good morning, everybody, and uh, most welcome to this uh, morning session, this webinar about the uh, half double. Um, me and my uh, my co-host Jan Olbeck from Implement have really been looking forward to uh, to meeting you on the, this uh, webinar, uh, which is the third in a series of four webinars that have been organized between the Half Double Institute and the Danish Project Management uh, Organization. The first one held about a couple of weeks ago was about the methodology in general. Uh, then the second one earlier this week about uh, Half Double applied in projects and portfolios. And now there's a third webinar about the uh, Half Double uh, certification program. And then there is number four, I think it's next week, which is about all the research results that have been produced um, about half double. Um, <clears throat> I am, uh, I'm Jesper Schreiner and uh, I am uh, the managing director of the Danish Project Management Association. And the reason why I'm here today is that uh, the Danish Project Management Association has actually been chosen as a service provider for the Half Double Institute of the upcoming Half Double Certification Program. And uh, quite naturally, uh, we have then also been involved and are quite heavily involved in the development of the certification program. And now over to you, Jan. Thank you very much. So my name is uh, Jan Olbeck. I work here at the Implement Consulting Group and uh, I have been attending this Half Double journey more or less since the beginning in a close cooperation with the with the Danish Industrial Foundation, and uh, we are launching this uh, certification now. And uh, in in order to this, uh, we have made this uh, this webinar here. So we look very much forward to introduce it to you, so you can have an idea about uh, what this contains. Yeah. Let's have a look at the agenda for this webinar. Um, we are now at the welcome session and the introduction and um, uh, <clears throat> moving to the agenda. Um, first, we'll just give you a very short introduction. That maybe it would be a recap for some of you um, about the half double uh, methodology, which, which we call a half double in a nutshell. That's, that's about the methodology in general. And then we will move to the, uh, the, the certifications level, uh, levels that we are introducing uh, with the certification program. We will take you through a tour de force uh, through the certification journey. Uh, and then we will uh, deep dive a little more into each of the three levels, uh, the half double foundation certification, the practitioner certification, and the master certification. And then finally uh, summing up with, uh, with taking a look at the roadmap, what are our plans um, for the near future and for next year, by the way. And uh, <clears throat> then just for your information, um, um, you probably have questions. We really hope you have questions to us. And, and then uh, please post your questions, write your questions in the Q&A section. If you look at the, at the bottom of your screen, uh, you have a chat, uh, you can raise your hand and there is um, um, a call for action button um, for Q&A. Write your questions there. And then uh, approximately a quarter to 10, uh, we, um, we will um, stop our presentation, our slide deck, and, 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 and answer as many of your questions as possible. Uh, furthermore, just for your information, if you have any problems uh, with your sound or whatever it may be, we have Patrick here as our assistant, and he will be watching the, 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 the chat. So write, uh, just write your, your questions or your comments there, and Patrick will follow up immediately. Okay, but let's go and get started now. Um, so uh, over to you, Jan. And uh, the first thing we'll look at is, uh, uh, is, is uh, half double in a nutshell. Thank you very much, Jesper. So as, uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot, sorry. <laughs> sorry, so before we get started, yeah. I should also inform you that we have prepared three polls for you. Um, and this is the first one. Just before we get started, we would really like to know about, uh, some of, uh, about your background in terms of uh, project management certifications. Uh, so the questions to you is, um, <clears throat> do you have one or more PM certifications? You can choose between these, uh, these five here, or maybe you have some others, and, um, and then uh, it's possible for, uh, to, for you to give multiple answers. So if you have more, please indicate. So please go on and, and give your answers. 
a lot of activity is going on here. Oh, yeah. Nice to see. Uh, let's give it a little more. Okay. It's got water launch. So, what do we have? I think uh, Prince Two, uh, Ipma, and uh, the Scrum uh, is the winner. And yeah, the Scrum yeah. has the most. So, and there's quite a, a lot of others as well. Hmm. Could be interesting to deep dive a little bit into that. That must be another yeah. on another webinar. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Now we have a brief overview of of your background. Thank you. And now to Jörn. Sorry for the mister. <laughs> thank you. So, as uh, Jesper said, uh, maybe this is uh, something some of you have heard before, but we just take a very brief uh, in-flight on uh, what is half double actually, for those of you who don't know it or maybe haven't heard that much about it. So, half double consists of uh, three major areas, and which is uh, impact, flow, and leadership. And on this slide here, you see we also have the local translation, because when you work with impact flow leadership, it's of course very important that you translate it to the local circumstances. So you don't do too much or do, or do too little um, or do to the current situation. So you can say working with impact here, it's, uh, it's very much about having a focus on effect and not uh, having that uh, strict focus we used to on the deliverables. Uh, the flow thing here is, uh, is about uh, creating a, a focus on the speed, the progress and so on, and move away from these endless discussions about resources and so forth. We of course are uh, aware of that the resources is limited in most situations, of course they are, but it can focus on, on the progress that makes it, uh, makes it even better. And the leadership is, uh, is about moving away from this formalism that we usually have with the steering committee and we have to knock on the door as a project manager and, and kindly are asked to produce what we are, uh, are doing here. Leadership is very much about bringing people together, uh, both the, the project owner and of course the project team and project manager, so they cooperate on succeeding. And the local translation is, as I said, just to tailor it to the given situation. So this here, some of you have probably seen, and uh, we have uh, the half double methodology in the middle, and then we have the core elements, impact, flow, leadership. And for each of these three major areas, we have three methods and we have three tools. Half double is not about doing it in that precise way. We can, for example, work with impact and benefit realizations using different tools. I can come back to that in, in a minute. But this one here sums it all up and gives a quite a good overview of what Half Double is about. Looking at this, then we have working with the impact. Then we have a key principle. And the key principle here is that stakeholder satisfaction is the ultimate success criteria, meaning that we are striving for, uh, for, for the satisfaction from the key stakeholders. We build an impact case and work with impact tracking during the process. We build an impact solution design, making sure that we create benefits as fast as possible and we keep a close track record on, on the satisfaction among stakeholders by using pulse checks. When we're working with flow, then we say that it needs to be 50% allocation to the project from the core team members. It doesn't have to be everyone, but if, if uh, there are too few, then we usually experience that we don't have the progress. We need the key there because, well, sorry, the, the rhythm in the key events meaning that we need to have a fixed heartbeat throughout the project. And we also have to work with visual planning and uh, project visuals. It doesn't have to be uh, cards on the wall. It can be a different uh, virtual tools as well. And the key principle here 
is high intensity and frequent interactions. Working with leadership here, the key principle is that leadership must embrace uncertainty because projects are defined with uncertainty. And if we don't do that, then we are too strict and we don't see these different uh, possibilities that actually appears. So we have an active ownership approach, meaning that we need the allocation of the project owner at least two hours in the project every week. We need from the project manager a collaborative leadership approach, meaning the people first approach. And we also have the, uh, the reflexive and adaptive mindset. So we are acti actually uh, agile according to changes in, in the project and the environment. And to the end here, we have the local translation, meaning that we have the principle, there is no one size fits all. And uh, this is very much about what are the conditions? What's the mindset? We need to prep to make sure that people, they can grasp this. We also need this governance um, approach. So we make sure that we don't put in too much. And then we have the half double reflexive tool, meaning that when we work with half double, it's a very good idea to have an internal sanity check on how are we actually doing this? Because sometimes we tend to fall back to our old behaviors. This was a very fast uh, fly in on uh, half double in a nutshell. And uh, yes, bro. Yes, please. And um, just remind you if you have any questions to this, um, or Jern, this was very brief, very little fast introduction to a recap of the methodology. So please form your, uh, formulate your questions in the Q&A section and we will catch up on it later. Oh uh, yeah, uh, let's just summarize um, why consider the why consider half double, and um, what uh, in our view um, uh, we really think that um, that the half double will uh, will inspire uh, our society in general to further grow competences in in managing projects and and agile assignments, and that's what it's really all about. That's also the mission of the Danish Project Management Association. So the question: Why are we here? We are here because we want to contribute to, to really raise uh, the, 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 the level of competences in general throughout the project society in Denmark. And this half double would definitely uh, uh, contribute to that in our view. Um, <clears throat> and um, no doubt um, with its very, very strong focus on, on impact, which is quite unique actually, uh, we, we are quite sure that, that that half double would contribute to raising the overall success rate of projects and FTL assignments, portfolio for that matter. And, and at the end of the day, this is what it's all about, that we as a project society in Denmark can be more successful with our projects. And that means that we can create uh, more value uh, for our stakeholders uh, using less resources. And resources in, in this context is also about time, less time. Time is precious. Time is money. Uh, so um, finally, we really see, see it as a, as a compelling novelty uh, and founding on what we say here is an open, it's generic. Uh, it's, it's not business specific. It's not sector specific. Uh, it's for the private sector. It's for the public sector, for all businesses, actually. And, 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 and <clears throat> it's not rocket science and there's no revolution in it. Uh, if you take each of the nine method elements, I, uh, I think most of you have heard it before, but I think the, 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 what's quite clever done is putting these nine methods together and forming a methodology. That's what's so unique about it and, and, and quite compelling in, in our view. So I think um, here are the answers to the question why I think that it's worth considering half double, introducing it, uh, uh, using it, maybe not everything, but but part of it will work as well. And, and um, at, as a next step, consider uh, also to, to, to becoming uh, certified within the half double uh, methodology, which we will go into to dive into uh, um, um, at the next step here. Uh, let's just uh, catch up uh, a little. Uh, we have a, a poll number two for you here, and that refers to the three core elements of half double. Uh, impact, flow, and leadership. Just uh, to ask you to, uh, about, for a little reflection here, if you take a look at your organization, 
where do you find uh, there will be most room for improvement with an impact flow or leadership? Only one answer is, is possible here. And you'll have a little, take your time before you, you give your answer, we'll give you 60 seconds. Yeah, so just take your time. So impact is in here now. I feel leadership is approaching. It's actually very hmm? close. I yeah. Think. So. Yes, but what uh, would you conclude from this uh, result here? Yeah, I would also, if you'd ask me, what, what do you think would be, uh, where, where would we have the most answers? And I, I would have said impact as well. Um, um, and I think that over the past 10, 15 years, we have been, I think we have been shifting our focus um, or to, towards um, impact uh, value uh, from traditional uh, deliverables um, uh, and to um, the, the value that we need to gain from the deliverables there has been quite a lot of focus on that over the past 10, 15 years. So, so introducing half double and uh, with, with impact as one of the core element, I, I, I would have expected you to also that most of the answers would, would fall into this uh, on, or on this topic, uh, but leadership as well. Yeah. As number, as number three. Yeah. And, and flow maybe not that's not, not that surprising, I think. I would say that um, looking at this, we've been talking very much about impact the last 10, 15 years, yeah. but uh, analyzing the project success, then we still see that it's only approximately 30% of the projects that actually deliver the expected impact. And uh, one of the reasons for developing half double is uh, that there is an enormous potential. For example, in the German economy, it's uh, it's more than one third uh, of the total economy, which is based on projects. And if we take that only approximately 30% of them succeed, of course, it depends on how you measure it, yeah. then, uh, then the potential is of course enormous. And the same actually counts for, for Denmark. So a stronger focus and actually following up on the impact is important. But yeah. also I see here the leadership part that uh, it's very difficult for a project manager to, to succeed if there is not a substantial amount of support from um, from the project owner and, uh, and from uh, from the leadership in, in the organization, and of course the flow is uh, is also this to have a steady rhythm to make sure that we keep a constant pace and so on and don't fall in the traps where sometimes we're busy and other times we're just mm -hmm. just losing it. So. Thank you very much for uh, for uh, answering this uh, this poll here. It's um, it's important uh, knowledge for us, so yeah. we can definitely use it. Yeah, yeah. valuable feedback. Thank you very much, and and I think that brings us now to um, to the main section here of of the webinar, namely the, the half double certification. So let's let's go and get started and deep dive a little more into that. Yeah. Let's do that. So we have the uh, certification and. Um, it's important to say here now I, uh, I work with implement, but in this setting here, uh, I represent the Half Double Institute, which is, uh, is a nonprofit organization and, uh, and implement is actually just a partner organization like many other organizations are. So I represent the Institute and not uh, implement in this matter here. So looking at the, uh, at the, at the different levels here at the, at the half double certification. Then of course, some of you have heard about it. Uh, there will be some preparation for this certification journey here and uh, some, some study on your own. And usually people, they react to it. Some find it fascinating, inspiring, difficult and so forth. The first level of, uh, of this certification is what we call the foundation and this is more focusing on, I understand what half double is. I see the possibilities. I know what options there are and how it works together and so on. I have an understanding of how this could fit in my own organization and so forth. The next level is the practitioner certification level. And this, there's actually a demand to have this certification here 
that you have practiced half double, meaning that you shall take some of the tools, at least one tool from impact uh, flow and leadership and implement it into, it can be a project, but of course, if you have some more daily operation where it can fit, that can do, but you have to do it. You have to reflect upon it. You have to uh, look into why did it go as it did? What went well, what didn't and so forth? What will you do different the next time? At the practitioner certification level, we don't expect you to succeed in the matter that you create, create the business impact. But you shall do it, you shall reflect upon it, and you shall show that you can do it even better the next time. The master certification level, which is the highest level here at, the, at half double, is where you succeed with half double, meaning that you shall, of course, uh, implement it, but you shall also do it in a way so you create a business change it to the better, obvious. Um, and you have to document this. So we have split it up in three different levels. I understand, I practice, I succeed. And uh, when we are examining all the other uh, types of certifications, then we don't see anyone where we have the highest level here, I succeed, where we can document that we have obtained a business impact due to our certification. There are many other really, really nice certifications. I have several myself, but usually it uh, it's ends with how do I do it? How do I practice it? So just double clicking on, uh, on these here, we have, uh, we have the certification during here, uh, how, it, how it works. And when you're interested, then you uh, usually sign up and you sign up uh, with a partner organization who is providing this training course here. There will be different amounts of pre-work. It depends very much on the partner organizations, what they think is necessary, how it fits into the program that they mean is the best for making you a successful candidate later on. Then there will be a three-day uh, Ignite training session where you get all the basics uh, on impact flow leadership and local translation and you have a quite deep insight in what is Half Double actually all about. In the end of uh, these three days here, there will be the foundation certification, which is a multiple choice examination. And uh, when you pass that one, you are, uh, you are uh, foundation certified. If you want to move on, uh, and hopefully you will, then, uh, then you start writing a, what we call a reflection paper, because then you have to take some of the learnings into use. You start, and there's a template for this, of course, and uh, what thoughts, how will you uh, apply it, uh, what difficulties do you expect, and so forth. And then we will have half a day virtual uh, uh, boost training session. And again, if a partner organization decides that it can be tailored in another way, then, then they're free to do that. After the boost, we also have a practitioner class a training session where we put all the last thing in how to really adapt this into your organization. And then we have an application, a certification application. And when you have delivered that one, then you can go to the practitioner certification, which is an oral examination where we, so to speak, the, the Institute deep dives into some of the topics you have described and, um, and we challenge you maybe in a, in a nice and caring way. So we get an idea about uh, how do you actually apply this. If you want to move on, then of course it's a, it's a good thing if you have a proper project where you can do these things. But there will be a masterclass training session um, where we tailor it more into your specific needs because we also expect that a lot of people will take the foundation, a lot, but not as many will take the practitioner and maybe a bit fewer who will take, uh, take the masterclass, obviously. So it will be more tailored into the, uh, into the personal needs and so on. There will also be this application on a much deeper level. And then, uh, then there is also uh, an oral examination. And when that is passed, 
then you are certified half double master. According to, uh, to recertification, then uh, the foundation is for life because it's knowledge. But when we look at the, at the practitioner and the master certification, then it has to be renewed uh, with a one hour interview every three years. This also means that some of you maybe already have a certification from one of our partner organizations. That also lasts, we have decided, for three years from the day that you obtained it. When you want to still call yourself a half double practitioner, for example, then, uh, yeah, then you have to sign up and uh, you will be contacted if that's the case. So, and again, a quick brief uh, run, run through here. So if you have any questions to these three certification levels, please uh, write it in the Q&A and we will follow up um, after this, um, this speech here. Hmm? Yes, do you yeah. have any comments to, uh, to these? No, not to the journey. I will now deep dive a little more into each of the three levels. That's um, very good. Yeah. I can do this. So yeah, that was just um, a, a brief view, uh, a, a tour de force uh, through the, the, the certification process. Uh, so now you know uh, what is involved if you consider becoming uh, certified in, 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 in the half double methodology. Um, let's deep dive a little more into each of the three levels. Um, the foundational uh, level, uh, as Jan said, you, you really have to climb your way up the pyramid there. So you have to, uh, you all have to start at, at, at the foundational level. You, you, just can't jump into the master level or practitioner level. You have to start here. And uh, as said, um, what does it mean to be certified, uh, uh, half double uh, foundation certified? It means that I, uh, it's all about knowledge. Um, I, I understand half double. So I have studied it. Uh, I have uh, I've read, I've studied, I understand it. That's what it's all about. If you look at the prerequisites or the, 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 um, the criteria that, that you need to fulfill, I would say that uh, it's, it's mandatory that you, if you study uh, the, the, the compendium. Uh, and then of course it would be um, to your benefit, definitely, if you have some more broad knowledge uh, and experience practicing project management, um, definitely, um, that will bring you in a, in, in, a, in a very good position also to understand what half double is all about. And it maybe it looks rather uh, simple, maybe or easy. But when you when when you read it, and and if you have some experience from practicing project management in the past, you also know that it's maybe it's not as easy as it looks. So the more experienced you are, the the the, the better your position is, and, and to really get something out of it, and and, and be a, a very good user of of, of half double. But anyway, um, um, <clears throat> you you start. Uh, the training course is mandatory, so so before you can get to the examination, you have to pass the uh, or take the train the ignite training course, which is very much about the the compendium, the theory about uh, the half double methodology, and that will bring you in a position to to sign up for the examination with a one hour written examination, a uh, hundred percent multiple choice, which means that the, in a fully digitalized. So um, you will almost immediately get your uh, result, whether you have passed or, no, or not passed. And, and following that, if you pass, of course, uh, a, a certificate will be issued. Just to summarize, uh, what is this about? It's about knowledge. It's about understanding what half double is about. Uh, and, and, um, and why? Simply because if you want to be a good, uh, to be a good practitioner, and maybe finally also a master, you really need to understand the theory first quite naturally. And, and the target group here is very, very broad. Everybody who's interested in, 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 in our practicing project management, it can be traditional, it can be plan driven, it can be agile assignment, whatever. Uh, of course, the, the methodology, um, when you start it, you will see that it is mainly driven by, uh, by the agile mindset. So it's, it's, it's mostly applicable for, for agile assignments, but definitely it can also be used for more traditional or elements of it. Uh, absolutely. So I would say the target group is 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 very very broad. Um, yeah, let's take let's let's uh, let's move on and and take a more close look at what the practitioner certification is all about. Um, uh, uh, the criteria, the prerequisite is yeah, you need to be uh, uh, to be certified half double uh, uh, in uh, a foundation. 
uh, before you can um, um, register for uh, the, the practitioner certification. And then again, uh, you, you need to, uh, to uh, come back to the training room uh, uh, for the boost session. Uh, and um, <clears throat> following that, you will um, write your reflection page. This is mainly for your uh, for, for the for the uh, other uh, people you are um, you are on the training course, so so it's all about uh, proving that you are able to reflect on what you have uh, what you have started and what you have practiced because now you start to practice half double, and the, you being able to actually reflect on what works and what doesn't work is is quite important. So you start training it here uh, before you come to the pr practitioner training session and which leads you to one of the main touch points here when we're talking about the practitioner certification, namely the application for the half double practitioner certification. And that is a report about seven, eight pages, normal pages. Uh, you have to document there, you have to prove that you have actually been practicing half double. And, and furthermore, you had to document at least uh, that you have used at least one method from each of the three columns. So that means one method from the impact section, one method from the uh, flow section, and one method from the leadership section. At least simply to document that you are not only specialized in, lead, in impact, uh, because that's what's most important for you, referring to the where do you find most room for, for improvement, you need to cover it all. Um, and uh, again, you, 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 you have to, to write what were your learnings, what were your reflections, what worked and what didn't work and why. Uh, <clears throat> and simply because when you reach the, uh, the time of the interview, uh, of course your report uh, will be, or your application report will be, um, <clears throat> uh, the interview will be based on what you have written in your report, of course. Uh, so. so um, there will be an assessor there, and 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 the trainer, your trainer from the uh, from the boost and the and the practitioner training course will also be there. Jesper, can you yeah. just elaborate a little about uh, how the certification, the uh, the oral practitioner exam, is conducted? Because you have worked uh, yes. as an assessor here. Yeah, in yeah, uh, sure, I can. Yeah, we've been uh, doing some tests um, <clears throat> here in in the first half of 2020. Uh, very very promising results. So we have already done around 10 interviews and um, it, will, it, it will be uh, the, 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 the assessor and the trainer, which have actually based on the report, have prepared questions uh, simply to, um, <clears throat> to um, them. Of course, we have the result of the examination as well from the foundation. We have that as well. And, and then we have the report and there might be areas where we can see, well, here, that the, the, the candidates really performing well, but here's an area where we're not quite sure. So the interview is actually for the benefit, or if there are any doubts, uh, it's through the it's the benefit of doubt for the candidate. So so um, if 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 there are not uh, enough evidence in the report, um, <clears throat> the interview will, will will you can see it as here you have a chance really to explain what I didn't explain in the report. So that's that's a job for the. Uh, um, that's the obligation that the, the assessors have simply to use the interview in the right way to cover areas where we haven't seen enough proof that this is actually, uh, this candidate here is ready uh, for or, 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 or is, uh, adequately competent for a, a practitioner certification. So yeah, this is how it works. Yeah? And again, it's, it's, intention uh, it. and, and it, it's the intention and it's also the intention to when you have when you have been to this uh, this certification here, you are much better off for actually going do even more um, half double in your organization. So there will also be a lot of feedback and good advices and discussions uh, within the certification uh, how to do this even more even more efficient um, in the future. Yeah, mm -hmm. and again, focus here is on practice, and so so no no question about it. The candidate needs to prove to document that he or she have, has actually practiced half double. But we do not expect that the candidate has actually succeeded with it because that doesn't happen overnight. You, you do not become definitely not a super user in half double, meaning that you can actually produce uh, uh, and you can succeed with it from day one. So this is a sort of step in between 
uh, uh, the knowledge section and the level where you really are capable of, of, of being successful with half double as well. Yeah. And that's what the master level is all about. So now we are really getting serious here. Uh, so so um, this is about, uh, um, as you remember from, from, from the pyramid, uh, we also say if you, if you are a master in half double, you are actually capable of, of, of succeeding with it, producing, really producing impact and using less resources in terms of time and, and resources in general. Yeah, so court, uh, you, your prerequisites, you need to be a certified half double practitioner. You have to move your way up uh, the pyramid or the ladder. Um, and um, um, you don't waste your time writing a report if you are not sure that you've actually been successful or you've been, you have produced some really, really good results using half double. There's a training session here as well, just like for foundation and, uh, and, and practitioner. And then we come to the certification application, which is an, uh, definitely an extended report compared to the, to the, um, to the application um, you need to, or the report you need to prepare for the practitioner level. And um, of course you need here to, um, to, be, um, to <clears throat> be quite detailed about what you have actually work, uh, worked on, which projects you have been involved in, and what results you have uh, produced here and how you have been success, successful using half double and comparing it to maybe more traditional ways of performing projects within your own organization. And then apart from that, you will also be given a case. Uh, <clears throat> oh, that's at, at the interview, yeah. So, so uh, again, a lot of reflections and a lot of learnings. What have you actually captured uh, in terms of, of learnings from your work with half double? Can we just supplement here? Yeah, sure. So, so again, yeah, yeah. Uh, this this uh, sounds like a lot of work, and uh, it is definitely a lot of work. Yeah, but but uh, it's not only for our sake, of course. It's uh, it's actually more for your own sake because the the thing that you get the chance to to document some of your thoughts, your reflections, uh, uh, your ideas to move on, and so on, how you will handle different obstacles, and so on. Is, uh, is essential for you to succeed even better. So these are the things that we will discuss with you at, mm -hmm. the, yeah. at the master certification uh, exam here. So, uh, so it's, it's, it's actually just as much uh, for, uh, for supporting you in your journey than it is to, to control you. But of course, uh, of course, we also need to see that, uh, that you actually you do it the right way and you, you deliver impact, uh, obviously. But uh, the other yeah. part is, Yep. It's actually uh, uh, equally important. Yeah, thanks, Johan. And, and next step in, in, uh, in the certification process here for master certification is the interview. And that is also extended, just like the report. Uh, so uh, we are now speaking about or preparing for a four hour interview. And um, <clears throat> there are two main points on the agenda. Of course, the first one is your report, uh, the extended uh, master report. Uh, where we will deep dive into that, uh, take a look at um, the results we have produced and discuss that. And uh, uh, on top of that, or besides, there will also be, will be handed a case at the, at the day of the interview that you need to prepare, uh, and you need to prepare for uh, a discussion with the, uh, with the uh, owner of the case. Uh, and you uh, should see yourself as a consultant, maybe you should advise the, the, the owner of the case how this could be uh, about, about the approach and how uh, this case, how the assignment could be handled using half double. So <clears throat> as you probably can see that we are really moving up now and, and um, uh, um, the, the, there's some quite high expectations to you as a master candidate actually to get the certificate. Uh, and there also should be because if you have the certificate, certificate if you um, once you have it you should really be proud because it means that you are you are capable and everybody else know here is a person who's capable of actually producing impact and be successful using half double and, and also a person who is uh, presented to a new case and within oh, yeah. a, a very short time yeah. can can look into and actually have an idea about the uh, what steps should we take to to um, to implement half double in this yeah. project context here? Yeah. So it's 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 a bit similar with uh, some of the job interviews that some of you maybe have attended, yeah. where you also get a case and uh, you have to 
have to find a solution. And then, of course, this is not how it should be, but it's more a discussion you can say on how could this be implemented. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the roadmap here uh, that we have prepared. Um, as I just said, we have been doing some, um, uh, some tests here um, in this first half of 2020. Uh, I was involved myself as, a, as, a, as an assessor, and we had some very interesting and, and promising uh, interviews um, with around 10 candidates, so, um, which gave us a lot of valuable feedback, uh, <clears throat> which we, of course, uh, have used and will use to further improve uh, the, 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 the program. That was all, uh, at the practitioner level. So, uh, which bring us in the position, we are quite sure to launch this, to go live with the foundation and practitioner certification program uh, in, in the second half of, of 2020, so we are in, in, in autumn. Uh, it, is, it is actually ready right now, but uh, we just need to, uh, to get the partner organizations onboarded in the, in the proper way, mm -hmm. so, we, uh, so we make sure that the quality is, um, is the right. Yeah. And then the plans are um, to, um, to also release the master's, master certification program in first half of 2021, uh, meaning next year. So that's the plan so far, that's the roadmap. So that's what we're going for. And that we also presented it as, as at the uh, conference uh, on, on March the 3rd here, uh, some three months ago. Uh, so nothing has changed. Uh, we, 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 we still stick to this roadmap. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so um, let's just summarize a bit here. Why should you uh, consider, after all, becoming certified in the half double methodology? Uh, what we say here is that, um, again, with, with a very, very strong focus on impact creation, uh, using uh, flow and leadership, um, it's a great way for you actually to, to prove your ability to successfully apply uh, the methodology. Uh, and uh, no doubt, if you pass, um, once you get to the uh, practitioner level, uh, it will definitely increase your market value. Uh, it's something new, uh, and uh, you will actually prove that you're capable of, of adapting something new and, and, and practicing it. And um, again, no doubt, uh, uh, once you have taken a brief look at the methodology, it is designed and mostly applicable for agile assignments. So if you work agile, and we know many, many of you do, many organizations do, uh, this is also uh, could be a, a great a supplement to, to uh, the method and the mindset and whatever you already use. So that's also a good reason to why you should consider becoming certified in the half double methodology. That's, that's, that's our answers uh, to, to the question. Can I just have one? Sure, thing? yeah. And uh, some of you might be thinking, well, we already have certifications. We saw that many of you already have certifications. So what shall we do with this new one here? Is it, is it pure competition or why do we launch this, uh, this half double certification? The main reason is that we believe strongly that we deliver something new, something that there is not on the shelves. So uh, none of the existing uh, certifications has this strict focus on, um, on impact. Uh, so we have to prove that impact has been, uh, has been delivered by using impact flow leadership. This is the new thing. So, um, so it's, we don't see it as much as a competitor, more mm -hmm. as an add-on yeah. to the existing certifications. Meaning that if you, for example, are PRINCE2 certified, could be SAFE, SCRUM, PMI, IPMA, whatever, some of the others, then, then half double can actually work very well as an add-on where you accelerate the things you already know, uh, the competences you got from the previous certifications, and so you can get even more out of your prints too and so forth. Yeah. This, is, uh, this is the intention with right. this uh, half double uh, yeah. certification. It's not either or. Mm -hmm. uh, you can really use what you already have and get even more out of it. So. That was very good, Jan. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Um, now we are just uh, almost at the end of our presentation, and we just like we started, we will end also end with a po with a poll. Um, so um, just a short question to you after what we have uh, presented here: um, Would you consider becoming certified in half double uh, within next year? Three uh, possible possible answers: foundation, practitioner certification, or master, or no. So.
know, we are, we are watching this poll here with a high, high degree of interest. This is uh, very much uh, as we uh, expected it. Uh, thank you so much for, for sharing your, your thoughts here. And, um, and again, this gives us a pretty good indication on, um, on how this is, is, uh, is perceived. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much for your answers mm -hmm. yeah, and for your yeah, engagement so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, now we have been talking for 45 minutes, uh, actually what we planned. And uh, there are different questions here in the uh, Q&A. So uh, Patrick, uh, can we take one at a time? So, ah, yeah. <laughs> With two older guys here, we I can have a hard time. Is <laughs> English a general uh, certification language or will certification be localized in terms of language? Yeah. Can you explain this a little more? Otherwise, we are crawling, crawling into the camera. <laughs> First question is, uh, is English a general certification language or will certifications be localized in terms of language? Okay. Very, it's a very, uh, very good and, uh, and definitely relevant question. Mm -hmm. In the first place here, we are rolling it out in, in Denmark, but uh, the whole material is made in, uh, in English as a start. And then when that is totally finalized, also with the half double, um, um, a certification book that, that will go into the training and so forth. When everything is, uh, is in place, then it will be translated into other languages as well. So in the beginning, until we have a very clear baseline, then it's in English, but later on it will be in local languages. Yeah, and I can add to that uh, from my experience from the uh, test um, certification that we did earlier this year, that the the, the report that was uh, at the practitioner level and all the reports was written in English language. I don't think it was mandatory, but the, the candidates did write, but all the interviews was in local language. So um, national language, that was Norwegian by the way, but so, so uh, we, will, we will continue with that. So even though the compendium will, will I, I guess um, throughout the year uh, probably only be available in English, uh, we can do most of the certification in, 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 in local language, yeah. Yeah, and also our partner organizations, they're also free to deliver, of course, the training in local language. Yeah. For example, if we're in Denmark, as we are, as we are at least, uh, and you have a, a class full of uh, Danes, then maybe it doesn't make sense to have it in English. So, of course, the mm -hmm. trainer can, uh, can tailor it so, so everything will be delivered in, um, in Danish, uh, the reflection paper, the, uh, the exam, and everything as well. Yeah. One more question. Yeah. For the ones who already have half double training, can we apply to the test directly? In, we would not really recommend that because uh, we have had this uh, saying that we haven't really got hold of what training has been delivered so far. Meaning that uh, this is, uh, is a freeware and nobody owns it. So it's it's accessible to everyone. So a person who has not been, been uh, accredited or certified as a half double trainer has so far been able to deliver the training, meaning that uh, we have no idea about what the quality is. So in the future, it will be like, even though that you maybe have had uh, one day of half double training somewhere that we don't know anything about from the Institute side, mm -hmm. Then, uh, then they can have an exam, they can give you everything. But if you want a certification in the Half Double Institute, uh, then it has to be from uh, as a accredited uh, certified partner organization where the trainer has to be certified in at least the same level as he or she is certifying, so to say. So um, I think that was a long, long no. <laughs> Extended no. <laughs> Extended no. One more question. Here. Yeah. Is it required to recertify after some years? Yes. Yes. 
the foundation certification is uh, for is for good, and uh, the practitioner and the master uh, last for three years. And then when we get closer, you will get a kind reminder that if you want to to extend it, then uh, then we have uh, another interview uh, based on a reflection or sorry uh, and uh, a certification application, more or less the same as we did. So. We need to make sure that if you want to be a practitioner or a master again, mm -hmm. then you work with projects, you deliver uh, the amount of, uh, of behavior and impact uh, as, uh, as we require to call you uh, a practitioner or master certified. Yes, mm -hmm. one more question. Is it possible to, is it possible at all, at all to collect sufficient hot dog experience in a year Yes, it is. Yeah, uh, if you practice half double in a, in a year, definitely you will be uh, you will be in a good, very good position to apply for for the practitioner certification. Um, I think the requirement will, will go down to we will say at least six months. So yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. maybe even less because uh, we also make sure that if you have some jobs, some works where you can actually apply this, we are not talking about effect on the practitioner level. So in principle, if you're working on these matters here and you of course know a project management to a certain degree because half double is relatively difficult, then, then, uh, then we have the, uh, the Ignite session where you after that take the foundation. And then it's actually possible for the partner organizations to within a month, for example, to have the boost and within a month after that again, for example, to have um, um, with the practitioner session and right after that after writing a little on or not a little but but writing this uh, this certification application then you can go to the practitioner so three to four months is actually uh, also possible possible yeah as, as long as you recommend as long as you do it yeah. mm -hmm. yes a question here as a professor at the business business school I have sometimes considered including half double in my courses on project management would the foundation level be relevant to students without much experience, or would you consider a lower level student? Uh, <clears throat> basically, you, uh, as, as we talk about foundations, it would definitely be to your benefit if you do have some uh, more broad knowledge about what uh, project management competences are all about. But you can go for it. I mean, uh, you can study there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, you can study the uh, the, uh, uh, the compendium, the theory, and 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 you can apply for the foundation uh, examination. It's all about knowledge, in brackets. Uh, so so it's it's all about understanding half double. So the answer is yes, you can do it, uh, but definitely um, it will be to the benefit of the of the students if they have a more broader knowledge. Yeah. Actually, we are working with two levels of partner organizations: uh, one star and two star. And uh, when it comes to, for example, universities, uh, mm. uh, profession schools, and so on, uh, then we recommend the one star, meaning that the trainers or the lecturers or assistant professors or professors, they are foundation certified. Usually they don't necessarily work on projects where they can implement these things or or create a, a measurable impact and so on. And it's not really necessary for the students. So we recommend um, a foundation level. And, and when the lecturer, for example, is foundation certified, then the students can also go for the foundation certification. But there is no hinder that, that uh, if, for example, an, an, um, a lecturer at a university uh, uses half double, uh, explains half double, uh, uh, takes it into the in, into the training, the education, and uses it as, as good as uh, he or she can. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, there is no certification in the end. It takes that the lecturer or, or someone from the organization is certified on the one star level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Ian. Uh, 
regarding the master certification, should these projects have some specific criteria? Sorry, could you could you say it again? So regarding the master certification, yeah. should these projects included in the master certification have some space specific criteria? Uh, the short answer from me is no. Um, I think that um, the, the important thing is that whatever uh, projects or assignment that you uh, pick for your, uh, I would say, as, as basis for your, uh, your practice and your, uh, your goal uh, of, of succeeding with half double, you should have a good feeling, gut feeling, that these are actually, um, um, these are, um, <coughs> how do you say that? Um, they have the, they 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 have a potential. Um, they're, they're really good at potential uh, projects uh, by means of which you can actually produce good results. So I would say no specific requirements. It's really up to you to ha to have a feel. Of course, you can always contact the institute and and and, and talk to somebody uh, about whether this or this would be a, a good potential project for you uh, in 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 uh, in your. In 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 um, <clears throat> on your on your journey towards a, a master certification, yeah. You can you can say if you if you do the sanity checking, saying that is there somehow that you can implement the use of uh, of impact flow leadership, then then you are pretty well off. It can be in many many different sectors. It can be in many different projects. It doesn't necessarily have to be a big and very very complex project to um, to do so. No. Do we have a question here? A lot of people is asking about the, the fees or the price for the different certification levels. Yeah, and we can we can say that because it is we're going to do this that uh, that it is the partner organizations who will ask for you to be certified, meaning that. Uh, that uh, the partner organization, there will be free competition on the pricing and so forth. And there will be a fee to the Institute. The fee is very low, I can say, uh, for, um, for the foundation because we want to expand this as fast as possible. So we don't want to put financial obstacles uh, into it. Uh, the practitioner will be a little more expensive and the master will be a little more expensive, but, but the price for the certification is, uh, is hidden within the price that you're paying to the partner organization who will, uh, will certify you. But it's, uh, it's non-profit, so you can say the Institute uh, doesn't make any money from this. It's just to make sure that, uh, that we have the license for the, um, for the multiple choice uh, test, for example, after the foundation just to give a, a relatively low salary to the, uh, to the assessors uh, for, the, uh, for the practitioner and the master. Uh, so, so, so the price depends on what you pay to the partner organization. Yes, should have the last question. Oh yeah, um, still have time. Am I only required to be foundation certified to teach others for the foundation exam? Yes. That was the short answer. <laughs> that was yeah. my first yeah. one. Was. Uh, okay, then let's, let's take one more. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Lars is asking, since he unfortunately missed the first 10 minutes uh, of the webinar, he's saying that he is uh, participating in the practitioner training offered by Implement at the moment. The second session is tomorrow for him. How does this click into the certification setup? It clicks perfectly. And uh, in the end, you will be offered to take uh, this formal Half Double Institute certification because Implement is one of the partner organizations. Hmm? Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for all your uh, nice questions here. And uh, thanks for participating. Um, Absolutely. If you have any uh, any further uh, questions or doubts or whatever, uh, is there somehow that we can can get our contact information? Yeah, you're most welcome to contact mm -hmm. contact us also after this webinar session. Yeah. Um, uh, if everybody been... will receive a mail afterwards. Yeah. The recording and in there, Great. the contact information will be. Yeah. Perfect. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Really a pleasure meeting you this morning. I uh, hope you got something out of it. Have, Have a nice, nice day. day and take care of yourself. Bye. Bye.